I've been traveling with public transportation for a while now, and the amount I use the public transportation and commute increased when I started living in Germany. And one of the things that I really don't like is commuting in general, to be honest, because it takes time, it really drains my energy, and... You know, overall, it's not a very comfortable thing. But, you know, not everyone really lives uh, very near to where they study or work. So commuting is a very regular part of our lives. And to be honest, I'm really okay with, you know, uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or lately it was 40 minutes. Uh, Commutes, um, like, I'm all right with it. You know, there are people in way worse situations, you know, and mine is not that bad. I generally use, you know, three different transportation stuff, you know, buses and trains. Uh, But lately, because of my uh, internship, my new internship, I will be commuting around three and a half to four hours a day, which is kind of fucking a lot. And I'm, <laughs> oh my God, uh, because of my one of my previous internships, I had to travel regularly for around the same time, I would say, and it sucked big time. Like it really drains all my energy and you work there. So you need that energy in the morning. And also after you return home, it would be lovely to have some leftover energy uh, from both working and also uh, all that way. And so, you know, it would be lovely to have some leftover energy at home to, you know, do other stuff that I enjoy, my own projects and all. But it really drains all my energy, this whole commuting thing. Um, But yeah, lately I've been like I said, commuting, and I will be commuting for a long time because, you know, this internship will be a longer one. Uh, But we'll see about the details. We may talk about this again in the future, but for now it's not that clear. So yeah, my regular travel time will be increased to, like I said, three to four hours a day in total. Um... So that kind of sucks. So in the past, I tried to, you know, uh, have that time in good use. You know, I wanted to use that time. Uh, that may be st- by studying, you know, by, you know, chilling. Because if I can chill at home, if I want to work at home as well, I might as well chill while traveling. Which in my past tries didn't really work out because the trains are really not my cup of seats i would say (laughs) cup of seats um so it's not really the most comfortable way of transporting transportation but yeah lately i've been watching anime on the road which is kind of nice but i think i need better headphones because mine really don't um silence out the outside world i really I, I at the same I at the same time need to hear the outside world because if I don't hear anything it would be really dangerous while I'm you know walking and stuff but on the train I really need that noise cancelling so I may get myself a new headphones a pair of new headphones that we'll see about that but like with good headphones I'm really able to you know focus on what I'm watching and time flies by which is a good thing because it, it's a long time to travel. I may also try working on the way as well. I may study on the way. I may study German um, and all that good stuff. I also read sometimes. And I really wonder what you guys do because I'm sure there are people that commute a lot. And I've also learned that in America, which probably I shouldn't have been waiting, you know, expecting otherwise because you guys have a lot different system than here in Europe or in Middle Asia that that we have. But I heard that in America, people travel for long hours. They drove cars and stuff. And, you know, it's the public transportation is not really that bright, that not really looking that bright uh, compared to uh, Europe. So, yeah, uh, you guys drive a lot. Um, 
I personally don't have a driver license yet. Uh, I would love to have one, but it's too costly. Uh, and I can't really afford that at the moment. But maybe in six months or so, I may be able to. We'll see. Uh, but at the time, I'm using the public transportation, which I'm really not a big fan of. I've never been a big fan of public transportation. Uh, but I guess they're doing their best as well. All the respect. Uh, but, you know, the cancellations, them being late and stuff, that kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. So I've been trying to get my travel time down uh, by searching for alternative roads. And I actually found one, but I need a bike. But at the same time, I'm not sure if that would work because the road I have to take to shorten my overall travel time takes about 15 to 20 minutes and I have to go through autobahns and all which is not a fun idea so I may reconsider you know finding another road but we'll see about that um but other than that a bike would be beneficial regardless because i have another around 20 to 25 minutes of walking at the end of the road so a bike is it will probably benefit me regardless so yeah um i'm trying to find ways to lower my overall travel time we'll see how that goes um but other than that i think that's really about it i I'm traveling a lot these days, and this week was full of travel, to be honest. It was full of travel. And again, I like I said, I'm not a big fan of traveling, uh, but yeah, we'll see how things go. Um, there will be some big change in the following months, I would say, in the following weeks, maybe. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to adapt to the new stuff and we'll see how things work out i'm really hopeful and happy and um, excited also about the current developments uh, i would love to hear about your stories on you know commuting uh, traveling for long hours i would love to know what you guys do and all so if you'd like to let me know in the comments i do read them so yeah that's really about it. See ya.